Back on Shaw TV Okanagan here with Warriors forward Parm Dollywall. And Parm, it's getting to that exciting time of the year, February leading into March. You were involved in that last year with this team going to the playoffs. How exciting is it for you and your teammates kind of in the final week of the season here going into the first weekend of March that, you know, playoffs are coming up and there's a big important time on the horizon? Yeah, I think it is. Um, definitely learned a lot last year coming in. Um, I didn't expect how I was last year. It was pretty pretty fast paced playing my first game against Merritt. Like everyone, the veteran said it's going to be fast paced, but it kind of hit me pretty fast. And I think this year, I think we have a real good forward group. D, we struggled a little bit. We got three injured D. Hopefully we can get Cody and uh, Garrett back. But I think if we're going on a good run here these past four games that we have left and go hot into a playoffs, I think we'll be in good shape here. It's kind of interesting that you mentioned that about the playoffs because you hear it all the time that it's a completely different animal than the regular season. But did it catch you off guard last year? Maybe you kind of didn't think that it'd be much more of a different animal than it was because it seems like, you know, the play just ramps up that much and the kind of older guys start playing with a lot more fire. And it just seems like everybody comes together for a big and, and harder game to play when you hit March. Yeah, it did kind of catch me off guard, like I said. Um, yeah, the bigger guys do come definitely to play and they show their role. And I think last year we did, it was kind of tough getting swept, but I think the rookies learned a lot from it and the veterans helped out a lot. And I think coming out in here, I just, we got to bond together as a good group here and just take it in stride here and I think we'll do pretty good in playoffs here coming up. You've got so many players coming back from last year and does that kind of help out when it comes to this year? You mentioned those guys that were in the playoffs last year as rookies, which the Warriors had a lot of obviously with injuries kind of riddling them at the end of last year. And now this year you have so many of those guys that were with the team now coming back. So it seems like you could be a little bit more confident going into the most important time of the year. Yeah, definitely. It helps that we have a lot of experience this year from last year. And yeah, I definitely, I think we could help our rookies here and kind of show them the ropes, how the playoffs are, because it is a different game than regular season, way different. And the pace picks up, ice gets shorter, you got to make plays faster. And yeah, I think we have a good group here and the experience will definitely help us out here. You had an unfortunate play at the beginning of December. You were hurt, sidelined with a concussion. You miss about the whole month of December and a little bit into January. You come back and all of a sudden it's been like it's lit in a fire under you where you're starting to score a lot and you have more goals in this last span of games than you did in your first 28 of the year. What's it been like for you coming back from an injury? Do you just feel any different coming back or is it just like the puck's kind of finding your stick in good areas? I think the puck's just finding my stick. Um, I took those I think I missed 13, 14 games. I just took it into perspective, kind of see what I need to do better here the last stretch in January, February. And I think my line mates have been helping a lot here. Dubois, I've been playing with them since last year and kind of had new wingers, but I think Steelers have been fitting in with us real good. And like you said, I think the puck has been finding my stick and I've been finding it back in then. It's been feeling pretty good. Yeah, have you ever had a kind of success in your career like you're having right now when it comes to goal scoring? You know, we talked about it a little bit where you're more of a playmaker vision is exceptional on the ice and you can find guys in open areas but lately it's been lighting the red lamp so has it been like a little bit of a renaissance for you over the last little while where you're finding yourself scoring more goals than you normally would yeah it's kind of weird me and doobie were talking about it and we're saying like he's he's usually the sniper i'm usually the playmaker but we are kind of changed our roles here and i think it's pretty good i think we could both do playmaking and sniping or scoring and yeah, usually I am a playmaker, but I like scoring a couple of goals. It feels pretty good, and yeah. You play Wenatchee on Wednesday. You know very well that this is a team that you could see in the playoffs. What are the games against them like? Because you kind of bill it as Canada versus the U.S. Is there that, that kind of a little bit of a rivalry on the ice when you step on either here at RLP or in Wenatchee? And what those kind of games are like, it seems like they're pretty intense every time that these two teams go up against one another. Yeah, they are pretty intense. Last year we only played them a couple times, so it was different this year than our division, so we played them six or seven times. And yeah, when we go down there, it's a pretty tough, pretty tough place to play. The fans are pretty wild down there. They get a good crowd. And I only got to play one game there this year, so I was injured those past few games. But watching those games, those it's a pretty fast paced game. Those, those guys are pretty good down there. They move the puck well, but I think we can contain them good, just contain their speed, match their intensity. If we play them in the first round, I think it'd be a good matchup. You mentioned Chase Dubois because you guys have been on a line together for almost a year and a half, two years now. It seems like there's rarely a point where you're not playing with Chase on your left side. What's it been like in your relationship with him coming in last year and then growing to this year? It seems like you two are inseparable off the ice and on the ice as well. It seems like there's such a good bond there. Yeah, we're pretty close together meeting him last year and 
just when we got put together, I think we just kind of connected pretty well together, just um, finding each other on the ice and just off the ice. He's a great guy, and yeah, I think we've came together came together pretty good so far here the past couple of years here. Lastly, now we talked about you being a little bit of a goal scorer as of late, but. From an NHL perspective, is there anybody that you idolize kind of in the National Hockey League and uh, and why do you look up to them to kind of model your game around them or take some bits out of their game to implement to yours? Yeah, this guy's pretty old in the NHL, but I think I model myself after Henrik Sedin. Been a big, big Clucks fan since I've been young, so I've been watching him a lot. Just try to model my game around him. He's a good playmaker. He can find guys on the ice. I think I kind of do the same thing. and. Uh, He's kind of finding the way to the end of his career, but he's been a pretty good player in the NHL and off the ice, he's just a wonderful guy, helps out the community, and I think I kind of do the same here, so he's just a good guy overall. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for this, Parm. Thank you.